everyone, my name is Jen Allen and today's workout is just a good intense mat Pilates workout. Today's workout has a lot of really, very unique Pilates exercises in it, not your typical. So enjoy the workout, make sure you have enough space around you, either use a carpeted floor or a mat or both. Starting with some standing work and into some balance work, we'll do some warm up moves and then into balance work and then we'll get to the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale down, take a deep breath in, exhale down. Take the right arm and reach, left arm reach. Right arm again, both arms together. Melt down so the hands come to the thighs, belly button pulls up and under. Roll up the vertebrae, roll the shoulders back. Start the reach with the left hand. Right hand, left hand again. Then both come together to center. Melt down to your legs. Tuck the belly button under, roll all the way up the vertebrae and roll the shoulders back. Start with the right arm again, left arm, right arm, both together to center. Engage the pelvis always as you release. Belly button comes in, stretches the back as you roll up. Last time with the left hand. Right hand, left hand again. Both arms come up to center, release to the thighs. Belly button pulls under, roll up the vertebrae, roll the shoulders step wide. Down and up with the plies. Identify the pelvic triangle and also the upper back triangle as you hold your arms. Pulse for three counts. Rise up, pulse for three. On the next one, pulse down for three. As you rise up, bring the right leg in and squeeze. Open it up, right leg in again. Take it again. Open, squeeze in, adding a variation of this on the next one. Step out, turn the right leg inward, open it, slide it in. Take that again, step wide, plie. Always reminding you of the Pilates principles, control, center, concentration, fluid movement, detail, and breath. Stay wide, three, left leg in. Step out, left leg in. Open it up. Think of every detail in the plie position. This time you'll turn the left leg in. Squeeze it. Step out. Left leg turns in. Open. Take it again. One more time. Good. Take that deep breath in again. Reach up. Exhale. Step forward onto your right leg as we start the balance section. Left leg goes back, center your weight between the two legs in a lunge position and reach the left arm high above your head, dropping down towards that right side. So start at the balance section, you have two feet on the floor, but even this can feel like a little more balance work because the legs are one in front of each other. Sink a little deeper. Feel the range of motion as it pulls to the side one more time. Reach. Last one. Bring the arm down. Just elevate your heels. Now it really becomes a balanced position. Squeeze the inner thighs to the midline. Reach. Same exact move with more balanced challenge as the heels are off the floor. Again, reach. Find your control. Let your jaw, uh, core do its job and pull those adductors towards your midline. So you're not necessarily pulling them together. You're pulling to the midline. And center, release your heels. Put your hands to your heart, shift your weight forward and pick up your back leg. Bend the knee and then just drop it to the right leg. So it just feels like a one-legged squat. But again, the balance work. So concentration, control. Feel your feet muscles against the floor. Now drop in, twist to your right hip, come back to the middle, and then lengthen your standing leg. So sink down, twist, center, rise out of it. Take that again, drop down, twist, center, Rise out of it one more time. Really focus the balance and the control. Center, 
rise out of it. Step down now with that back leg coming right down against the heel of the front foot. So it'll feel like you're on a balance beam. One foot in front of the other. Even that feels wobbly to me. So what do I need to do? I need to squeeze through the inner thigh, zip up the zipper, concentrate on the core muscles engaging. Then bring the arms above the head. Elevate the heels and squeeze those inner thighs together, one foot directly in front of the other. Now lower the heels down, lift the heels back up, lower the heels down. So anytime you move, you have to think about the core helping you control the balance. Lift up, keep the heels up, swing the arms forward and down, swing up, squeeze, find balance. Drop the arms forward, down, squeeze, lift, Two more. So every move becomes a full body concentration. Hold, bring the foot down, bring the arms down. Take the right leg into a tree position. So you have an option of toes down, knee out, up on the calf muscle, or all the way up on the thigh. Once you choose your position that's best for you today, bring your hands to your heart. Find your balance. Take your arms down in front of you and reach up. Reach forward. So that's where we differ from our yoga practice. We may use a lot of things that you'll see in yoga, but then we add some motion to the positioning of the stability. Come up and hold. Open the arms. Come up. Open the arms. This time as you come up, make a high V with the arms. Shift your ribs as you tilt from side to side. Find that focal point, that concentration. And once you come back up to center, regain the balance. Then circle your torso. Reverse the circle with each one. doesn't have to be big. It can be a very subtle motion. Finish it and find that perfect balance to finish. Release your leg and your arms. Shake them out. This time step the left foot forward, the right leg back in a lunge. Let's do everything on the other side. So as you sink your weight between your two legs, when I say pull your adductors to midline, it doesn't mean they're squeezing together. It means there's a midline of your body and they're both pulling to that midline. Right arm goes up, left arm goes to the hip. Side tilt. Look for range of motion. Don't cut it off, reach as far as you can go. And if you get a little wobbly, fight it. That's where the workout is. When you feel those little wobbles, figure out how to take those wobbles away. Two more. One more. Release the arm. Elevate the heels. You may need to reposition your feet if they're too far apart. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift the arm. Reach now with the heels up. It takes a lot of focus, concentration. It takes a lot of centering. It takes a lot of control. Every part of the body should be working in every move you do in some way. Now release the arm, release the heel, step forward onto your left foot, and take the back foot up in a bent knee position, hands come to heart. Sink deep into your left leg, lift out of it. Can I immediately start thinking about that pelvic triangle from hip bone to hip bone to pubic bone, sucked in. Now sink into the left leg, twist to the left side, center, then lift out of it. Sink down deep into the hip, twist towards the hip, center, lift out of it. Again, feel the muscles even in your feet, those proprioceptors that start at the feet and go all the way up the leg into the hip that help you balance. Twist, center, as you rise up, take the right toes and put them right behind the left heel, release the arms. Once you feel that connection, squeeze the inner thighs. 
Lift the arms. Lift the heels. Now just lower the heels. Lift the heels back up. Lower the heels. Lift up. Such a simple move. Make more from it. Really think about it. Lift up and hold. Squeeze those inner thighs to midline. Then drop the arms forward, swing, come back up, stop momentum, keep your balance. Drop forward, swing, hold. Take that again, drop forward, swing, hold. One more time, drop forward, swing, hold. Release the heels down, release the arms. Take the left leg into your tree position. If you're just having issues with balance today, keep your toes down, that's perfectly fine. Come up onto the calf if you'd like a little more intensity. Come up all the way into the thigh. If you'd like even more, bring your hands to heart. Before we start moving, we want to find stability. Then release your arms down in front of you. Reach the arms forward. Reach the arms down. And again, think of the proprioceptors in the bottom of that right foot. How the muscles engage in the foot and they work you up into the ankle, all the way up the leg. Keep the hands up on this one. Open the arms out to the side. Lift up, it's like a chain reaction from the foot, all the way to the leg, all the way up into the pelvis, all the way up the spine. As you lift your arms on the next one, bring them up into a high B. With more of a tilting motion, shift your weight from the ribs, from side to side. Very subtle. This doesn't need to be big. The stability comes first, the motion comes second, and there could be very small motion on this. This one's a tough one. As you come back to center, find your balance. Then torso circles where you change direction after each circle. Don't feel like you need to go fast or stay with the music or with me. Take your own focus. Figure out what needs to be done to find the balance. Finish the circle you're doing and then find that balance and hold. Release, shake it off. Good, let's come down to the mat now. Come down onto your hands and knees. Align the head up. I'll always talk about the head because it's just a heavy weight that we don't wanna drop forward and strain the neck. In opposition, right hand, left leg, extend out, bring them down, other side. So we're gonna work a little more aggressively here. Transferring weight from right hand to left leg and down, then left hand to right leg. This time, right hand, left leg, pull the knee and the elbow in together. Extend, lengthen, float to the floor. Left hand, right leg, extend, knee and elbow connect, lengthen, Float to floor. Right hand, left leg again. Contract. Lengthen. In. One more time. Lengthen. Elbow contract. Lengthen. Float to floor. Adding a change. Right hand, left leg. Open to the side. Come back to the middle. Float to floor. Left hand, right leg. Open out to side. Center. Float down. Right hand, left leg. Open. Center. Float down. One more time. Little change on this one. Right hand, left leg. Left leg bends. Right hand reaches back. Center. Float down. Left hand, right leg. Twist by bending the back knee and rotating the front hand back to center. One more time on each side. Right hand, left leg. Bend the left leg, twist the right hand. Center, come down one more time. Twist, center reach, and come down. Sit back into a child's pose, reach the hands forward. In Pilates, this stretch is often called a piece of heaven stretch. This leads us into our piece of heaven push-ups, taking the hands wide enough for a chest push-up. Come up to the top of your push-up, whether it be on your knees or your feet. Now lower your chest to the floor. Push the floor away, come back up to the top of your push-up. 
Bend your knees and pull back into the piece of heaven. Let's flow through that without a pause. Come up to the top of your push-up, lower to the floor. Push back up. Knees down, pull back. Push forward. Drop. Push the floor away. Remember, these can be done on knees or feet. If you're on your knees, make sure that your weight is forward into your chest. Push up. Pull back. One more time, and we'll change the hands to a tricep position. Hold there. Tricep position is more narrow and a little bit closer in. These can be done on knees or feet. I'm going to do mine on my knees. Push forward. Lower, hug the elbows into the ribs. Push it away. Sit back. Forward. Lift. Pull back. Push forward. Tricep push-ups, a little more intense than chest push-ups. For me, I have better form on my knees, and that's why I made that choice. Drop. Let's go one more time on this one. Push forward. Drop. Hug the elbows. Press and pull back. Good. Shake it off. Next set of exercises is a scorpion that's broken down into different parts and then eventually a smooth transition. Some of you have done scorpion with me before. If not, follow my lead as I talk you through each position. You will be flipping over to face the ceiling. Start with your hands on the mat. Tuck the toes, come up into your plank position and engage the pelvis. Right knee comes forward. So that's the first part of the um, scorpion. Extend the leg back straight. Lift that back leg higher. Bend it so the knee is bent, toe is up. Open the knee at the hip socket, rotate. This is where we flip over. So that right hand comes up to the ceiling. Left hips drop just a little. Then the left leg comes up towards the hand, reaching across, and you hold your balance. There's your balance move. That's the scorpion. Drop the leg, reach the arm. Come back over into a one-legged plank for a second. Release the foot and sit back for a second to rest. So that's a scorpion on the right side. Let's break it down on the left side. Tuck the toes, come up into plank. Bring the left knee forward into a mountain climber position. Hold. Extend the leg straight back. Lift that leg higher. Bend it. Toe goes up. Open the knee at the hip socket. Let it pull you so you're reaching up to the ceiling. Drop the right side of your hips. That way you can lift your left leg up towards your hand and reach across. This is a full body move, including balance. Take the leg down, reach up, come over into one-legged plank, hold, release to floor. Okay, the goal is to go through the right side and then into the left side without taking a break with a little bit more flow and not enough as many pauses. Hands to mat, come up into plank. Nice thing about scorpion, you don't stay in one place for very long. Okay, find every detail, right knee to chest. Extend back, lift it a little higher, bend the knee, toe up, open the knee at the hip socket. Flip back over, reach up, drop the hips a little so you can lift the leg and hold for four counts as you reach across. Three, two, one, reach up. Come over into a one-legged plank. Put the foot down, left knee comes forward. Extend, kick the leg high, bend the knee, open the knee at the hip socket. Reach up to the ceiling with the left arm. Drop the hips. Lift the leg and reach across and find your balance for four counts. Three, two, reach up, leg down, one-legged plank, hold. Release into your piece of heaven, stretch. A variation now of the scorpion. I'll call it a three-legged dog. Flip the dog. Those are terms from our yoga practice that we're incorporating into our Pilates practice with flow. Take the hands to the mat. Tuck the toes, but this time lift the hips. So there's your downward dog position from our yoga practice. This time take the left or the right leg high. So that's a three-legged dog. Bring the knee into the chest. You lower your pelvis, kick back up into the high kick. 
Now, just like the scorpion, flip the dog so that your hands up and you're facing the ceiling. Come back up into a high kick, and that's your variation. Pull your knee forward. We won't do many. Let the move evolve into a high kick. It doesn't need to feel rushed. Flip it over, reach up to the ceiling, find the control. Come back over into your high kick, let the kick evolve. One more time, pull in. Drop the pelvis, lift the head, kick up. Flip it over, reach up. And then finish with a beautiful high kick. Right there. Bring it down. Just reposition, shake off the wrist for a second. That's a good bone density training, impacting the wrist. Bring the hands to mat. Lift the hips. Left leg high to the sky to repeat those three times. Knee comes to the chest, pelvis drops, head goes forward. Kick the leg high to the sky. Flip it over, reach up. Find the control. Come back over to the high kick. Repeat it two more times. Knee comes forward into the chest. Go back into the high kick. Flip it over, reach up. Come back over to the high kick. We'll repeat it one last time. Find the details as the knee comes forward. The pelvis drops, head goes forward. Kick up and the head will drop back down between the arms. Flip it over, reach up. Come back over, kick high. Finish it off and release down. So we have three on each side. I'm actually gonna do three on each side again, but this time instead of a mountain climber coming to chest, It'll come to the outside of the elbow, hitting into the oblique muscles. Hands to mat, tuck toes, come up into your plank, uh, pike or down dog position. Kick your right leg high. As it comes down, bring it to the side of the right elbow, lower the pelvis, lift the head forward, kick back high. Flip it over, reach up. Come back over into the high kick. Two more times, bring it down into the elbow, drop the pelvis, lift the head, bring it back up to the high kick, flip it over, reach up, come back over to a high kick, repeating it for a third time, final one, drop into the elbow, pelvis, head, kick up, flip it over, kick back up. Finish with that high kick. Bend the knees. And release just for a second so we can repeat it on the left side. Bring the hands to the mat. Tuck the toes, lift the hips high. Take the left leg high to the sky into a kick. Pull it now to the side of the left elbow. Drop it. And lift back up into a high kick. Flip it over, reach up. Flip it over to a high kick. Two more times to the elbow. Drop pelvis, lift head forward. Kick back up. Flip it. Back over to the high kick. Last time, elbow to the knee or knee to the elbow. High kick. Flip. And high kick, finish, and release to floor. Nice job. Okay, let's move now into um, some side plank work. Choose a hip to start, we'll do both sides. Tuck the knees in and line the hand up underneath your shoulder. This will progress into a more intense move. It starts simple, you can always go back to the simple. With your hand on your shoulder, other hand up, lift the hips. Everything comes in. So it expands, contracts. Expand or lengthens up. Take your top leg, kick it out off the floor. I'll do four of each position. Kick out. Kick out. On the next one, you kick out but touch the floor. So it's just a nice length. Pull in. Find you to 
discoveries about each move through the four repetitions you have. This time, step out to the top foot, then the bottom foot, then in with the bottom knee, back in with the top. So you're not out there for long. Find it, squeeze into it, come back in. One more. And release, change sides. So again, you get four repetitions of each move. Rather than thinking of them as monotonous and let's move to the next one, find something new about each one each time you do it. Hand up, hip start. Lift. Lift. Pull in. Lift. The next one kicks the top leg out off the floor. Big lift. Think of even down to the pointed toe, the fingertips, the ear to shoulder. Expand the leg to the side, but touch the floor. Where's the bottom arm? Is it close enough that you can get a big range of lift, or is it too far away from you? Step out, step out. Step in, step in. Control, out, in, in. So you don't want it to look sloppy. One more. And seat, seated position. Turn now so that you could lie down on the mat eventually. These are called beach ball sit-ups. Scoot forward a little, you will end up on the mat. Knees are open. Toes are pointed so the heels are elevated. Arms are in a circle like a beach ball. And then you curve into your strength move. So your seat curve low enough to really feel the tightening of the abdominals or the powerhouse connection. From here, toss the arms above your head, lengthen your legs, touch your fingertips behind you. Go back into the beach ball. So this is your strength. This is your stretch. And you're going from one to the other very smooth. One more time. This is only half of the beach ball sit up. The next half lies down on the mat with your hands to your side legs extended. Come up slowly back up to beach ball. Now let's talk about that transition right there. That's the hardest part of the move. That's a place where people like to throw it quickly or even come up too high. So go to that place where you feel stuck slowly and then just make an inch above it. Take it one more time. Putting it all together, come up to the beach ball. From here, toss the arms over the head, lengthen your legs, contract back into the beach ball. A little faster, drop down flat. Come up, toss it. Precision and detail on this one. Be in so much control that you are in perfect precision. Lower, contract, toss, contract. Last one, contract, toss, and contract. Good, lie on your side, your hip. In a short combination, we will actually repeat the combination twice. Once with your hand in front where it can support you, and once with the hand behind your head where your support has to then come from the abdominals or the powerhouse area. You have a choice. You can place your hand behind your head, which is a little more advanced, or if your neck feels strained, let it come down onto your arm. You choose. Take both legs up, both legs down, both legs go up and down. Squeeze your legs up together and on this one, keep the legs up higher in that middle point right there. Top leg lifts up and down, the bottom leg stays where it is. It's in the middle point. Bottom leg drops down and up. Notice how much pressure you're putting in your front hand. What happens if it's not there? Top leg moves first, bottom leg moves second. So they ricochet off each other, each time coming back to the middle point. Now the bottom leg's the lazier one. Make it come all the way up. Opening the legs at the same time, they open apart, then pull to the middle. 
Scissor one leg forward, one leg back, then switch. Stay right on your hip. Notice how much pressure is in your front hand. One more. Bring them together and down. Repeat that with the hand behind the head. Your first instinct most likely will be to rock backwards. Try to get right up onto your hip. And when you start to pull back, pull right back over. Both legs come off the ground. And come back down. Both legs come up off the ground. Lower down again. Lift up and hold. Take your top leg only and lift up and down. Let the core do its job. Feel it through the waistline. Bottom leg down and up. Hold to the top. Pull. Then one at a time. Top leg first. Then the bottom. Ricochets into the top. And the bottom. Top. Bottom. One more. Opening them at the same time apart, then squeeze to the middle, make the bottom leg come up. Then scissor one leg forward, one leg back, and scissor, and scissor, little faster scissors, squeeze, and bring the legs together, roll them down. Place the hand now back in front of you, and get right up onto the hip. With the top leg in a big high kick, bring the bent knee in toe to the other knee and then squeeze down to the other leg. Take that again, slow motion, a high kick, toes. And when you squeeze down, connect the heels like you're in a Pilates stance. A little faster, kick, bend, heels connect. Up, in, heels connect. Up, in, so some shaping exercise, you'll most likely feel this in the waist. Reverse it, knee, kick, squeeze, heels together. Knee, kick, squeeze, heels together. Feel the detail, the extension of the leg, keep the leg extended, big high kick. Lower heels together, feel the bottom leg push down as the top leg goes up. Everything's smooth, so it shouldn't be affecting the stability of your torso. As you bring them down, hold. Release your hand and your head. Lift your torso and your legs. Let the legs come higher, torso higher. Come up all the way high into the pike position and lower down slowly. Bring it up in four counts. One, notice my other arm is reaching across. Lower, that's important. That's helping the oblique muscle contract. Up, coming up onto your shoulder so it's a full body move. Two counts up, two counts down. Lift. Two up, two down, still smooth. So resist coming down the fall. Two more. Last one. Either flip over or go around to the other hip or roll over to the other side. As you come down, choose where you want to place your hand, either under your head or lie down flat. Then uh, bring the other hand in front of you. Remember, we'll do this sequence twice. From here, take both legs up. Notice how much pressure you just put in your front hand. What happens when that hand is on your head? Two more. Hold up on this one. Find your balance on your hip. Take your top leg up and down. Bottom leg down and up. Top leg. Bottom leg. Top leg. Bottom leg as they ricochet one off of each other. One more. Both legs at the same time. Open, pull the bottom leg up. Scissor from one to the other, forward and backwards. Bring the legs together, let them float down. Bring the other hand behind your head. Now be careful not to just go through the motions. 
keep your mind in the game, really think about your balance and each move you do to the fullest potential. Take both legs up high, notice if you rock backwards, lower down, lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down, lift up. Stay there, take your top leg up and down, Bottom leg down and up. Think about pulling up to the midline. Ricochet top leg first, bottom leg second. Are you right on your hip? What do you feel right there in that waistline? How is it invol involved with what you're doing with your legs? Now open them at the same time apart, squeeze together. Going right into the scissor, one forward, one back. Switch, get right on your hip. Control the length of your legs from your center, bring them together. Take them down, bring your hand back in front. Get right on your hip. Now, big high kick with your top leg. Bend the knee, toe goes into the knee and extend down to the Pilates position so you squeeze your heels together. Faster, up, in, squeeze together. Up, in, shaping the legs. So again, the details, even into the pointed toe at the end of your foot. Reverse it, bend your knee, toe goes to the knee, extend high kick, squeeze the heels together. This is a really good thigh exercise. High kick with the top leg, up, down, squeeze into Pilates position, high kick, squeeze, high kick, squeeze, one more, high kick, and squeeze, good. Lower your head down onto your arm, lift your torso and your legs, higher, higher, until you're in your pipe position. Slowly come back down, lengthen your body. Four counts to go up, one, two, three, arm is across the body, pull down. Two counts up, two down. Lift, lower. Lift, lower, two more. Pull, last one. Lift, lift, lower and lower. Good, roll over now onto your back. Bend your knees, feet to floor, slide your heels a little bit away. I'm gonna ask you to come up quick and grab the back side of your legs. Come up quickly, grab the back side of your legs. Now this is another one where you come up sometimes too high and we don't feel it, it gets easy. So when you come up, you're looking for that place that's a little higher than you wanna go, but not too high where it gets easy. Come down, reach up. Take it again. Come up. And release. As you contract, open your chest and release. Let's add something to this. Come up and grab, find that position, hold. Release one hand at a time. Find the balance without dropping, then release to the floor. Come up, grab the legs, engage the pelvis, muscles under and the powerhouse release and come back down. Come up, grab the legs, engage, let go, turn the palms and bounce the hands. Release. Come up, grab the legs and hold. Lift your right leg high. Slide the hands under so both hands have the leg, then extend the top leg higher. Use the image of a little ball behind your back or a bean bag or a pillow. So you're sunk really deep into the C contraction. One more. Bend the knee and hold. Lengthen your bottom leg straighter. Lift it higher. Lower it down. All trying to balance on that pelvis. So tailbone is tucked under. Bend that bottom leg. So it's just barely off the floor. Notice my other leg is higher, my bottom leg is lower, but it's not touching. Now release your right hand, 
Then your left hand, don't drop. Now bounce the hands. Hold still, take the fingertips to the floor. Big, deep abdominal wall. Lengthen your top leg, lengthen your bottom leg. Lift both hands, abdominal wall bracing in. And release to sit up. Roll yourself all the way back down flat. Take the arms above your head. Come up quickly, grab hold of your legs and contract. Hold, release, let go. Turn the palms and bounce. And release all the way back down to the floor. Come up quickly, grab the legs. Lift now your left foot off the floor. Slide the right hand underneath it. Sink deeper into the C curve, extend your top leg higher. Bend it. Extend. Bend. Extend again. Bend it. Hold. Deep abdominal wall, extend the bottom leg long. Pull it up. Lower. Deep C curve contraction as if you had a small little ball behind that low back, tailbone under. Bend your bottom leg, but don't let the foot touch. One leg is higher. Let go with the outside hand, then the inside hand. Don't change your position, then pump. Hold still, fingertips to floor, abdominal wall contraction, bracing. Foot higher, longer, reach up, hold for four counts. Three, two, one, release in. Bring your knees to your chest and then place the feet on the floor, slide your heels in close. As we go into some bridge work, we're actually going to focus on some oblique work in the bridge work. Hands are going to almost touch the heels, so the arms are going to be pretty low underneath you. Bridge up. Roll now over onto your right shoulder and reach your left arm across your chest. So my bottom hand is underneath, almost touching that heel. It can't actually touch. Pull back down and shift the left hand under. Lift the hips. Roll now to the left shoulder, reaching across with the right arm. And come back down. Lift the hips. Transfer over to your right shoulder, reach. Now let's add some balance challenge, which is kind of the theme for the day. The right leg starts to kick up to the left hand. That's major oblique work. Foot down, roll down. Transition the left shoulder under, hips up reach across. Find your stability and then kick the leg up to the hand. Leg down, release. One more on each side. Lift the hips, come over, reach across. Lift the leg, find the balance, don't rush it. Foot down, hand under. Last time, hip up, roll over to the left, reach and lift. Don't give up. Fight for it. Challenge yourself. Figure out what needs to happen through the core to be successful in that move. Bring your knees in and if something takes a couple of weeks to master or even a couple of months, that's okay. It's all part of the journey and the process. Not to get discouraged, but be motivated that there's something we can work on. Hands at the side. Shoulders come up. Chin drops forward. Elevate the chest as you pull your powerhouse in and bounce the hands into the hundreds. Breathing. Lift the toes a little and push the toes slightly forward. So as we're doing the hundreds here at the bouncing, we're engaging constantly. Take your right toe to the floor, but we're changing the leg positions. Toe comes up, look down towards the belly button and keep the chin a little dropped. Left leg touches the floor. Constantly lift, lifting the shoulders, bouncing the hands, and breathing. Take the right leg high, keep the left knee in. Bring that right knee in, keep bouncing and lifting. Left leg, so you're constantly thinking about how you can cinch up that belt line always. Both toes go up. Both toes come in. Right leg extends to a diagonal forward. Pull back in. Left leg extends forward. 
pull back in. Okay, the last one, both legs extend to that forward diagonal, engage it, and pull back in. Release your shoulders down, shake your head. Lengthen your legs, stretch it out. Bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, hands behind the head. Lift your shoulders, pull your knees to your chest, extend your legs high, scissor the right leg down and up, don't let it touch the floor. Scissor again, one more. Pull the knees in, lift the shoulders, release down. Lift up, bend the knees so everything fluidly connects all the way up. Left leg drops, but the right leg pulls to you. So you're scissoring the legs apart, not just dropping. Pull the knees in, lift the chest. Release, let's do it again one more time on each side. Knees come in, extend the legs. Right leg drops down and up. Left leg, right leg. Pull the knees in, lift the chest. One more time, come up, knees come in. Extend the legs, left leg drops, down and up. Right leg drops. Pull the knees in, lift, and release. Okay, let's move on to our whirly bird. Hands come out to the side, knees come into the chest. Knees drop to the right. Extend the legs all the way out. Pull the knees in and lift up. As they go to the left, you wanna pull the right hand and shoulder blade down in opposition. Pull in. Up. Take that again. So it drops to the right, left shoulder pulls down. Extend. So every detail. Over to the other side. Extend. Pull in. Speeding the move up. Drop to the right, kick out. Pull in. Precise. Dynamic. Strong. Drop. Over. Kick out. Now, this is why this is called the whirly bird. Even faster, kick out, pull through the middle. Kick out, pull through the middle. Keeping your shoulders down against the floor at all times. Last four. So the hips rock, but the torso does not. Last one. Good, bring it to center. Take the legs into a tabletop with the feet slightly extended, hands on the ground. Toes to the floor. Toes come back to center. So there's two parts to this and then a lot of variations. This is gonna focus down into that transverse low tummy abdominal muscle. Lift the hips, come to tabletop. So be careful not to rock. Find the tabletop between the move. Put it together, toes touch floor. Tabletop, hips go up, tabletop. Be careful not to touch or push too much with the hands. Extend one leg forward, other leg. Come to tabletop, lift the hips. Extend one leg forward, other leg. Tabletop, lift the hips. So variations, one leg forward, other leg, tabletop, lift forward. One more time, extend one leg, other leg. Tommy is pulling deep into the back. This time, extend both legs forward, tabletop, lift the hips. Extend both legs forward. So variations get harder as they progress. If it becomes more than you need, Take your toes to the floor or one leg at a time. One more like this. Okay, hardest one of all. Extend both legs forward, keep your legs straight. Lift, hips up, lower the back. Extend the feet forward, lift back up, then lift the hips so don't rock into it. One move at a time. Extend, lift, hips up, lower back down one more time. Hips, good. 
bring knees into chest. We'll finish class today with a series of five. I won't get fancy with it, it's just the basic, but think of it as one full sequence. So the transitions lead into each move. We won't take a break till it's all over. Lift the chest, grab the legs, drop the chin. Reach out. We're gonna do four of every move. Pull in and grab, there's one. Lengthen, pull in and grab, that's two. Lengthen, that's three. Lengthen, so there's the double leg stretch. Keep one knee at your chest, extend the other leg for the single leg stretch, lift up. Switch legs, drop the chin. That's one rep. Switch, switch, that's two. Keep the shoulders lifted, belt line tight, that's three. That's four, keep your shoulders up, extend the leg that's in your hands straighter, lift higher, scissor without dropping the shoulders. Try to relax your neck, that's one. Single straight leg stretch, that's two. Switch, that's three. One more, that's four. Take both legs up high, slide your hands behind your head. Push the feet forward, catch and pull back up, that's one. Remember, it doesn't matter how low, it's about what's going on right there. Two, right there in the powerhouse. Three, one more with the shoulders already up and the hands behind the head. Cross one elbow into a knee for the crisscross, switch. That's one. Make each one count because you don't do very many. You're halfway on this one. Last repetition, both sides, and you're done. Reach it out nice and long, stretch the body. Take your right hand and reach a little higher and your right leg and reach a little longer. Now the left hand and the left leg. Keep your arms above your head, both feet down. Let your knees drop to the right and push your left hip bone forward, lengthening the left thigh all the way up the oblique into the top of the arm. Switch sides, reach all the way up, push the hip bone forward, feel the stretch of the thigh, all the way up the hip flexor, arm, oblique. Come back to center, open the arms to the side, knees to chest. Knees fall to the right and they actually come right to the floor, extend the top leg, slide the hand underneath it and then move it around. Bend the knees, switching to the other side. And then extend the legs. So this, again, multiple stretches happening at once. You've got the shoulder, the chest, the spine, the hip, all the way down the leg. Bring it back to middle, extending the feet. Keep your knees a little bit bent, pull them towards your chest, feeling a deep stretch in your low back. Push the legs into your arms, drop the chin forward, stretching through the upper back, the hamstrings. Rock yourself up to seated. Take your feet together and then place your right foot in front. Reach forward, drop the head. up, reach over to the right side, take your left leg, extend it, and then reach over to the left side. Bring that left leg back in and this time bring it in front and reach forward. So you'll feel the stretch on that left hip because the left leg is in front. Bring it back up and side stretch over to the left side. Extend your right leg long and then side stretch over to the leg. Bring it back to the middle, bring both legs in, 
kick the ear to the shoulder. Drop the chin. Open it up to the other side. Come back up. Bring the hand forward and stretch out the wrist and the forearm. Switch sides. Release, take a deep breath in. Exhale, have a wonderful day today. Thanks for joining me today for the Matt Pilates class. I hope you found some new things that maybe your body hasn't done before that were unique to the workout today. Subscribe to Fitness with Jen Allen for other great workouts and I hope to see you again very soon.